emergency medicine, let's talk about the pathways that we have. So there's actually three pathways to practice emergency medicine. So number one is the, so I'm, I'm going to come at it. I apologize uh, ahead of time. If you're from um, like the States or uh, UK or something, I'm going to focus on a Canadian perspective, but there is three kind of paths. So number one is the five-year Royal College. So we consider that the FRCP room, um, like kind of pathway. So this is usually takes place at an academic or tertiary trauma center. It's a five-year program. You take your exam in the fourth year, and then half of your fifth year is kind of devoted to a fellowship. Um, so this is the strengths of this program is that you can it's internationally recognize. So I can move tomorrow to the UK or New York or whatever, and I can be um, seen as an emergency doctor. So you can kind of work anywhere in the world. It's also nice because this pathway allows you to do fellowships. So if you like um, ICU, if you like trauma, if you like toxicology, then you do want to go the FRCP route because that'll give you the fellowships. Um, I am the middle path. So I am the CCFPEM. So I'm doing, so I did two years of family medicine and then I do, I'm doing a year of specialization in emergency medicine. Um, the nice part about this is, so number one, I actually had a lot of emerge blocks because when you stagger your electives, you can really push your electives towards more high acuity ICU emergency electives. So it's not like two years you're doing something completely different. And then the last year or my third year, I'm doing, um, <clears throat> sorry, only emergency medicine. You really do have a lot and significant amount of eMERGE in there. The nice thing about the CCEM is that if you have other interests, for instance, I am... Um, so I really like women's health. And so for women's health, uh, I can also do like a women's health clinic and emerge at the same time. I know some of my colleagues, they really like sports med. So they'll do sports med and emerge. So based on your interests, I like the CCFPEM because family medicine in Canada is competency based, which means that I don't necessarily have to have a qualification to practice women's health. As long as I maintain my competency and maintain my core skills, I can practice it. The nice thing about this kind of avenue as well is that you have something to fall back on. So if I, for instance, am in my 60s or 50s and I don't want to necessarily do overnights or weekends anymore, I can, if I'm still practicing a little bit of family medicine, I can transition there and let's say do a walking clinic or do an urgent care that's only nine to five on the weekends. So you have a little bit more career flexibility as you get older versus the FRCP, you're really stuck in the emergency medicine or Fellowship Avenue, which doesn't allow a lot of kind of exit strategies the older you get. And then lastly, people, we have lots of excellent, super smart um, family medicine docs, so to your docs, that practice emergency medicine in rural and smaller community settings. So I think there's a myth out there that if you can only get a job at a tertiary center, if you're an FRCP, so the five-year graduate, that's not the case. Um, I don't think you can necessarily be the trauma lead, let's say at London Health Sciences, where I'm training with um, a two plus one, unless you really want to do extra training in trauma. But like I could work at a tertiary center. I could work at, you know, St. Mike's in Toronto or or Sunnybrook. It, it's not... It's not that big of a deal at the grand scheme of things. Um, I would say just kind of looking at it, most community docs, like for instance, I actually really prefer community care over, and when I say community care, I'm just saying like not the tertiary level one trauma center. I really like seeing a mix of peds and adults and GRE. Um, I like some bread and butter. I like to do my own fractures. I like to do my own laceration. So that kind of puts me more in the community versus someone who might like really high acuity code strokes, code stemmies all the time. Time, and they might like a tertiary care. So it's a very flexible career. And it's very um, kind of exciting because you can really create whatever you want in it, which I, I personally like, because I, as you can tell, I probably have a lot of different interests. And if you like emerge, you probably do as well.